A very good o'clock, dear students. Here I am Nikita. I am your geography teacher. Students, today we are going to discuss the last topic of our chapter, that is the importance of forest and about the forest conservation. Okay, why should we conserve the forest and what are the measures to conserve the forest that have been taken by the government? So, importance of forest. Uh, to conserve the forest, first we should know what is the importance of forest or why are the forest so important to us. Okay, so. There's no doubt you all must know about it that trees help in cooling the atmosphere by releasing water vapor through transpiration and they also help increasing rainfall by causing moist winds to condense. Okay, they also help increase rainfall by causing moist winds to condense. Okay, now the roots of a trees and plants prevent soil erosion by binding the soil particles together. Okay, we all know that. Uh, the roots of the tree hold the soil firmly, tightly. That's why the soil doesn't move or it cannot be eroded easily by the action of running water or wind. Okay, so help it prevents soil erosion. Next, it leaves its leaves which fall on the ground decompose to form rich humus. Okay, and the forest floor acts as a sponge, enabling the rainwater to sink into the ground. Listen. The leaves of the uh, plants, okay, the remaining leaves of the plant which are dried up, they decompose and mixed into the soil to provide rich humus to the soil, okay. And also what happens, the bed of the forest, that is uh, the soil of the forest helps as a... Uh, act as a sponge through which the rainwater can percolate into the ground and the groundwater level can be up okay now forests are also home to innumerable species of wild animals and birds okay if there be no forest where will the wildlife would live okay so these are the homes for the wildlife then raisins gum honey medicinal herbs are collected by tribal communities who depend on forest for their livelihood so they also provide a means of livelihood to the tribal communities who collect the wild products and sell them to market. Next is the woods of the trees. The most important product that we get from the forest is the woods. Okay, so we can use woods in different ways, like uh, rosewood and ebony and mahogany are used to make furniture and musical instrument, as they are durable and termite resistant. Okay, these kind of wood are very durable, hard and termite resistant. Also, they cannot be easily spoiled. Teak and sal are used for shipbuilding, then construction of houses and furniture. And sal is also used to construct railway sleepers, okay? Next is oil from the sandalwood tree is used in perfumes and soaps, okay? We know that sandalwood is used in many cosmetics. Then conifers are used to make paper, matchstick, pulp, plywood, resin, turpentine and creosote are pine wood extracts, okay? These are all the extracts from the pine wood which are used to make paper. Then woods of khajuri on the indian date palm or the indian date palm is uh, directly consumed as a uh, fruit then kikar and khair are used to make agricultural tools and carts the thick bark of these trees can be used in tanning also okay next is sundari and causerina tree which help in preventing coastal erosion they help because they are underwater grown trees right so that's why they prevent the coastal erosion then they are also to produce tannin which is used as a dye tannin is a dye okay then the hardwood of these trees is used for the is used by the locals to construct the boats so that is all the, about the importance of the trees here you can also see the mountain vegetation in himachal pradesh how dense coniferous forests give the grassy meadows beyond lies the snow line where no plant grows okay on himalayas you can see up to an extent there are vast grassy fields and above that there is a snow line where no plants can grow next is lac lac is uh, raisin secreted by lac insect found in the deciduous forest of chota nagpur plateau okay so this is used to prepare varnish and sealing wax to make jewelry okay and also bamboo it's also important forest product used to make houses and furniture 
so this was about the importance of forest now let us see about forest conservation on what are the threats to forest and wildlife so most of the forest in india are threatened by deforestation by cutting off trees it happens in different ways for timber for clear cutting for agriculture or for settlements and roads and even the loss of trees through forest fires okay forests are destroyed on a wide scale and the wildlife living in them is threatened with the loss of habitat even extinction and many of them have have been extinct for now to prevent the destruction of forest and the wildlife the government of india has taken several measures let us see what are them so measures to prevent forest cover are the forest research institute that is in dehradun implement many schemes to maintain healthy forest that is a forestation or uh, preventing deforestation many kind of schemes are there in the forest department each state is actively involved in the planting of trees okay along the roads and in replacing felled trees with an equal number of seedlings got it the forest departments are there in respective states which are engaged actively in the work of a forestation on the occasion of van mahotsav which is celebrated every year a festival uh, which will take place in the first week of july tree saplings are planted all over india there is a target like of planting trees uh it can be 10 lakh it can be 20 lakh okay like that we set a target and the one mahotsav is celebrated with enthusiasm to prevent forest fires from spreading strips of forest are cleared from fire break to form fire break okay when trees are uh, uh collided uh, uh with each other only then the fire produces so some of them are cleared from between so that there's enough gap between the trees so that they do not collide this is known as fire break train people are employed as forest wardens to take after to look after the forest and they well equipped to fight forest fires okay many people are given trainings to to prevent the loss of forest from the fires in india government's efforts to protect forest conservation and protection begin with the wildlife protection act 1972 okay the wildlife protection act 1972 was formed and under this wildlife sanctuaries and national parks were created under this provision of the act okay so wildlife sanctuary it is a place where hunting and poaching of birds see it is a reserved area for the free movement of animals and birds okay here the poaching and the killing of animals hunting of animals is not allowed and also prohib- uh, fishing and grazing of livestock is it is not prohibited okay you can do fishing and also you can graze the animals livestock but in national parks the difference between a wildlife sanctuary and a national park is that in a national park you are not even allowed to uh, you are not even allowed to do fishing and grazing too right along with the hunting and poaching the fishing and grazing is also banned okay it's prohibited in 1972 india joined unesco's man and biosphere program which aims to improve the relationship between people and their environment okay a biosphere is a it's a biogeographical region with a distinct natural and cultural landscape it aim to conserve biodiversity while also allowing their use in a sustainable manner okay so it's an area which promotes the sustainable development and it aims to conserve biodiversity in its natural form okay out of 14 biosphere reserves in india the nilgiri biosphere reserve uh, that is in tamil nadu karnataka and kerala was established very first for the conservation of habitat and protection of animal projects such as some projects based on particular animals which are on the way of extinction are also launched like the project tiger measures also been taken to identify and tackle several environmental problems like their toll on rich flora and fauna of our country okay they are counting is done time to time to see their toll uh, whether it's rising or falling now there are some national parks biological reserves and bird sanctuaries in india what are their names and uh, the nature of project and aim 
फर्स्ट इज जिम कॉर्बेट कॉर्बेट नेशनल पार्क दैट इज इन उत्तर प्रदेश ओके देन कान्हा नेशनल पार्क दैट इज इन मध्य प्रदेश दीज आर द सेव द टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट ओके प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर एंड द एम इज टू इंक्रीज द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ टाइगर्स इन द फॉरेस्ट ऑल ओवर द कंट्री नेक्स्ट इज काजीरंगा एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इन आसाम एंड मानस वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी बोथ आर बायोस्फियर रिजर्व फॉर रायनोसोरस to maintain the natural habitat of rhinoceros and elephant rhinoceros are also one horn rhinoceros that are uh, that are uh, endemic to india are being disappeared next is indian wild ass sanctuary run of kutch in gujarat this is for indian wild ass this is the animal and uh, to protect the endangered wild ass with सब स्पीसीज कॉल्ड इंडियन वाइल्ड एस ओके नेक्स्ट इज केवला देव नेशनल पार्क राजस्थान भरतपुर दिस इज अ बर्ड सेंचुरी ओके एंड ऑल्सो द वेदांत थंगल बर्ड सेंचुरी इट इज अ बर्ड सेंचुरी ओके दीज आर फॉर द मेंटेनिंग ऑफ वेटलैंड फॉर यूज बाई माइग्रेटरी बर्ड्स एंड बर्ड्स फ्रॉम एज फार एज साइबेरिया माइग्रेट टू दिस लोकेशन नेक्स्ट इज गोइंग दी स्नेक पार्क तमिलनाडु दिस इज अ सेंचुरी फॉर स्नेक्स क्रॉकडाइल्स एंड अदर रेप्टाइल्स ओके सो द एम इज टू ऑफर प्रोटेक्शन टू रेप्टाइल्स टू एक्सट्रैक्ट स्नेक वेनम फॉर द प्रपरेशन ऑफ एंटीडोल्स ऑफ द स्नेक बाइट्स ओके so it is for two purposes here in the map you can see many important wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves important among them are the sariska dudwa national park and uh, panna national park bandavgarh important hai okay these are some important national parks you must practice them in the map that's all about the chapter if you have any doubt to clear it to me okay that's all